Psalm 133. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the bed, the bed of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon, descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there <laughs> the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Daytime Meditation. My name is Francis Isibo. Welcome. Um, I see uh, in the body of Christ today uh, a whole lot of divisions, a whole lot of um, um, groups, a whole lot of different beliefs and all that. Um, I want us to take advantage of this. I don't want us to, um, you know, see it as a um, a reason for division. Hallelujah. God is diverse. The Bible talks about him having the manifold wisdom of God. Praise the Lord. Um, uh, if you look at the book of Hebrews, uh, Hebrews chapter 1, it says, God has sundry times in diverse manners uh, spoke to our fathers. But in these last days, he has decided or made up his, appointed his son, made up his mind to uh, to speak through his son. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I don't want us to see um, um, our, di our different uh, giftings and different... Uh, um, uh, revelations and different lights as a reason for um, divisions, but rather we should take advantage of the different uh, diversities of uh, spirit. Hallelujah! For if we look at the book of uh, Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse one, it says, "Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant." Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In verse 6, or let me say verse 5, it says, There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, you may, uh, in your quiet time, continue uh, that particular uh, chapter. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you see um, the differences, the giftings, or the gifts and the, the manifestations or the um, the revelations is not supposed to cause us to be divided amongst each other but rather we are supposed to be one why because we have one Lord one God one spirit praise the Lord um, I, I always say this that if we remove self from the equation all the time we would find out that it would all be about the Lord and not anyone else. Hallelujah. So going back to the book of uh, Psalms, Psalm 133, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It says like a precious oil. Uh, what this tells me is very important. It's very strategic. Um, it says that First, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. Uh, they're not just dwelling in unity, they're dwelling together. Praise God. Uh, there's the word dwell. Dwell means it's a place of 
uh, a place of abode, a place where you reside, a place where if I look for you, that's where I'll find you. You see, now it says together in unity. Hallelujah. Praise God. In unity. So we're supposed to be united and not uh, divided. Now, if you look at verse 2, it says, It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the bed. The bed of Aaron. Uh, permit me to use my own uh, uh, translation. Um, I would say the bed of Jesus. Because uh, Aaron was the high priest um, in the Old Testament or Old Covenant. But we have a new covenant and the high priest of our profession is our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So uh, you will not uh, charge me wrong uh, when I say running down the bed of Jesus. For he is the head and we are the body. And it says running down on the edge of his garments. Praise the Lord. Now it, it says running down on the edge of his garments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, you remember that lady, the, the woman with the issue of blood? You remember she said, If only I can touch the hem of his garment, I know I will be made whole. I'll be healed. That hem of the garment is a point of dispensation. Hallelujah, because here it says the running down on the edge of his garment. And now it says in verse 3, it says, It is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountain of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Hallelujah. That oil is the Holy Ghost. That oil is the Holy Spirit. That oil is the pouring, the outpour of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. So what binds us together is the Holy Spirit. What keeps us together, what brings about unity is the Holy Spirit. What dispenses eternal life to us, hallelujah, is the unveiling of Christ. It's the unveiling of God the Father and the unveiling of Christ by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, uh, my brother, my sister, it's a good thing for brethren to dwell together in unity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I go back again to that uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, before that, let's look at Ephesians. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I see the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit working so hard to see that we are united. Uh, um, if you remember what Jesus Christ was saying um, in the book of John, uh, he said, uh, um, And by this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Uh, brethren, we need to love one another. We need to love one another. The book of uh, John tells us that if you do not love your brother, you're already walking in darkness and truth is not in you. Hallelujah. You are stumbling in darkness. Praise God. You cannot say you love God and you hate your brother. You must have that meeting point where you recognize that you cannot do without your brother. Hallelujah. There has to be a point. That revelation. It is my prayer that God will open up our eyes in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. That we might be able to see the need. Hallelujah. To have love one for another. Hallelujah. To remove selfishness from our midst. We need to remove selfishness from our midst. We need to remove my church my kingdom my revelation hallelujah we need to remove all that from our vocabulary and we need to say we as a people 
Hallelujah. We need to say the Lord Jesus. We need to say this is the Lord's house. We need to say this is the Lord's family. This is the, we need to say this is God's family. We need to say this is the household of God. We need to see our brethren as part of us. For we are one body. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at what it says. I'll read uh, from uh, verse 4. So Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4. There is one body. One. There is one body and one spirit. Just as you were called in one hope of your calling. There's no other calling. There's one. The body of Christ must know that there is only one calling. Not two. One. Now look at verse 5. It says, One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Praise the Lord. This is the heart of the Father. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gifts. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Now this, he ascended. What does it mean? But that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might feel all things. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. To a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Verse 14 tells us the reason why this has to be so. It says that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head Christ from whom the whole body I repeat from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share causes growth in the body for the edifying of itself in love. Hallelujah. I repeat again, behold how beautiful it is for brethren to dwell together. It is like a precious oil running down the head of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ down his beds, down his garments. It's like uh, the dew of Hermon. Hallelujah. Upon Mount Zion. And when this thing happens, God will command his blessings. And he has already done so. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are one body. We are one body. My hand cannot decide to go right and my left to say, no, I want to go left. And my feet to say, eh, you people are going, eh? Okay, I too will go. The body will be dismembered. 
the body will be dismembered and it will become a freak. Right now, the body of Christ is a freak. Why? Because <laughs> we are not operating the way the master wants it. The body of Christ is malfunctioning right now because there's no Holy Ghost. We have driven out the Holy Ghost from the churches. We don't respond to the person of the Holy Spirit. We don't even recognize that he's there. I've been to so many churches. I've gone to minister to so many churches. To my greatest surprise, the pastors, some of them are not even filled with the Holy Ghost. Some of them, some of the workers, are not born again. Some are not filled with the Holy Ghost. I've been to a church where three quarter of the church had not uh, received the uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So what do you expect? The world, worldliness. But God is changing things. I see a time when the Spirit would rise up, hallelujah, as the governor of the church of our Lord Jesus Christ and do his job, hallelujah, because it costs a whole lot to get the Holy Ghost to come to, to us here on earth. It costs a whole lot. And I know by the power of God and by the grace of God, by the word of prophecy, that God's will will be done here on earth. Hallelujah. His body will come together. I see the body of Christ coming together. I see the body of Christ coming together. I see people submitting one to another. I see the body of Christ. I see pastors saying, hey, my brother, I need you. I see uh, um, deacons saying, my brother, I need you too. I see this church, uh, the Presbyterian, the uh, Catholic, the Anglican, the um, Lutheran, um, the Baptist, Hallelujah, the Pentecostals saying, hey, we need one another. Praise the Lord, we need one another. We, I need to know what you know. Teach me what you know. Hallelujah. And my brother will say, teach me what I know, and I'll teach you what you know. Hallelujah. So that we all can come to the unity of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we bless you. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We ask you to forgive us for where we have wronged you, where we have wronged the vis vision, where we have misplaced the vision. Hallelujah. We are ready to come together now. Hallelujah. I see the body of Christ coming. I see all the different parts of the body coming together in the spirit. I see the different parts of the body of Christ coming together, coming together and locking up, hallelujah, to the head. Hallelujah.